Okay, hello people. So here I have a Drosophila cross and your job is going to be to uh, genotype these guys for us. Phenotype them, excuse me. And then we can predict what the cross is. So I'm tapping the vial to get them all down to the bottom. Oh well, I really don't like that. And then I'm going to um, dip some, uh, one of these little devices into some fly nap. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. Come on guys, it's nap time. Is there a... Phew, it stinks. Just in case you're wondering, it absolutely stinks. So then I'm going to dip it in the fly nap. And I'm gonna give them one more tap. And I'm gonna shove that aside. And I'm gonna park that in there. And nobody got out. So we're gonna pause the video now while we help them take their nap. Okay, so it looks like the flies are slowing down. I asked Alexa to set a timer for four minutes because they need to sit for four minutes. So my it is my hope they're not falling in the food. But I wanna point out, um, that I've generated a morgue for the flies and um, it contains ethanol and um, when they're uh, dead I'm gonna sacrifice them and put them in there. We need to count every day uh, because more will emerge but it looks to me like I have plenty of flies so what we're gonna try and find out is if the magnification on the iPad or the iPhone is sufficient to allow us to both sex them and score them for eye color. So um, I'm looking forward to doing that with you. Alexa, thank you. You bet. Hope you've enjoyed your Wednesday. Okay. Alexa, please shut up. Okay, so Alexa informs me that the flies have been anesthetized enough. So I'm going to take out my little wand and because of course of um, COVID-19, I find myself yet again having to improvise in my laboratory at home. Typically we manipulate flies with a paintbrush. I'm going to try. Alexa, quiet. Typically we anesthetize flies with a paintbrush. I'm going to try a Q-tip. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to sacrifice my, sacrifice my eyeshadow brush and then I can put my eyeshadow on with the Q-tip. So I'm going to tap, take the plug out of the vial here, maybe. Oh, maybe just pull it up. No, man. Oh, I'm just going to take the cotton plug out. I got it. Okay. And I've put, a, I have um, a square Petri dish here and I put a white card in here because the contrast is gonna help me see them. And then I'm gonna tap the flies out of the vial and they still smell like fly nap. And there's something awry. To pull the mesh out? I think I might get a forceps and pull the mesh out. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some of these flies out of here. And um, moving the mesh, I'm hoping, will help me a little bit. And um, it's harder than I anticipated. I'm not gonna fib. But I believe I did mention to you guys that I actually hadn't done this before. So thank you for your patience. So I'm gonna work on getting the flies out a little bit later, but I'd like you to join me now in my little experiment where I'm gonna see if we can actually um, figure out some phenotypes and if we can sex the flies. So to do that, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try the camera on my iPad and see if I can take a really large photograph. Hello students, it's fly genetics time in my kitchen. The um, global pandemic science in my kitchen. So I am trying to phenotype the progeny of a fruit fly cross here on my kitchen table using uh, my iPad. 
And um, to manipulate them, I have an eyeshadow brush. No, it's a paintbrush. I thought about using an eyeshadow brush. So you remember that the male flies can be recognized because they have a thick black band on their abdomen. And um, I hope you'll agree with me that this fly here is a male. This fly here is a male. And this male fly has white eyes. This fly here is, I'm getting my own light. This fly here um, is looking pretty easy to see. Excuse me. Oh, now we have a good look. Okay, so um, this fly here is a female. Note the banding pattern on her abdomen. This fly here is a female. Note the banding pattern on her abdomen. Both the female flies have red eyes. This is a male fly because look at this darker and um, thick black band on the abdomen. Um, and this fly here, who's starting to wake up from his nap, um, is a male. Similarly, I have a nice example of a male here with white eyes. And this female here has red eyes. This fly here is, I can tell you right now, this is a female fly with red eyes. And um, I'm going to turn her over. Sorry, sorry. Turn her over. And um, so that is a female fly with red eyes. Another female fly with red eyes. Um, I read that... Um, I believe um, that early in emergence, the, ma the females emerge first. So I have more females than males. The males takes longer to emerge. But if you look here, you can see that this male fly ha it, um, has white eyes. And this, female, this fly here, that's female and I killed it, is, um, is red-eyed. So what I invite you to do is think about what's going on there. And would you like to speculate on what the cross was that I set up for you? Okay, thank you for your attention. Genetics in my kitchen. Bye-bye.